So if they give you these charges, so let's say they say it's 20 nanocoulomb, this one. Write it as 20 times 10 to the power of negative 9. The only thing they did here is if you type that into your calculator, your sacred and is programmed to give you a wetenschaplik notation. The definition of wetenschaplik notation is that there is no one null getal for the comma. Is. So they just shifted this comma that's there, they just shifted it forward, and then it becomes to the power of negative 8. But as you did this script in your sum, 10 out of 10, or 4 out of 4. Okay. Um, same year. Nee, daarin is een goeie voorbeeld, hierin is een goeie voorbeeld. As if you say 0,6 pico coulomb, you have to know that pico means negative 12. Okay? En as jy hom so gaan instel, 0,6 mal 10 tot die maag min 12, is hy perfect. But if you type that into your calculator, do you guys see that it doesn't have a non-zero number in front of the comma? So he shifts the comma 1 that way and then it becomes negative 13. But if you write this, that's fine. It doesn't matter because it's going to give you the correct answer. Okay, good. Dan het ek vir julle pa huiswerk gegee. Nie dit die. Nummer 4, ne? Number 4, number 5, I think. Okay, so hulle sê vir jou die elektrostatiese kracht wat 2 punt ladings soveel uit mekaar uit op mekaar uitoefen is 12 mal 10 tot die mag 6 min 6 newton. Hoe groot sal die elektrostatiese kracht wees indien beide lading sal veer word? So they don't give us the charges, but you have to know that the magnitude of the force is directly proportional to the product of the two charges. So as hulle al veer, dan sê het al half mal al half wat een kwart is, so dan sê net een kwart van daai. Afstand is in die twee punt ladings, dit is. And this time you had to see that that is a third of the original one. So jy gaan stel om daar in en onthou, jy moet hy 3 kwadreer, so hy word 1 op 9. And because it's a fraction in the denominator, it becomes 9. Nee? Uh, breek in die deler, ruil jy moes omboe. So 1 op 9 word 9. Beide puntladings verdubbel en die afstand vergroot tot daarine, wat beteken die afstand het verdubbel. You can do all of them at once, or you can do just the effect of the one and then the effect of the other one, but it comes down to this. So wat gebeur is, daarine verdubbel, daarine verdubbel, 2 mal 2 is 4, daarine verdubbel ook, but because you have to square it, you have to say 2 squared, which is also 4, so nothing changes. Okay. Nummer 5, bereken die elektrostatiese kracht van 2 punt ladings van positief 7 nanocoulomb en negatief 5 nanocoulomb onderscheidelik op mekaar uitoefen, if the distance between them is 20 mm. So we have 3 conversions that we have to do there. You have to put both of the charges into coulomb, which is times 10 to the power of negative 9. Jy moet het weet. Okay? And then you have to take the distance to meters. Hy kan nie in millimeter wees, jy moet om na meter te vat. So this mal 10 tot die maag min 3. It doesn't matter if you write that as a decimal. Dit maak jy saak jy so lang jy hulle net recht omgeskakel het. En ek sê weer vir julle graad 11, wees versichtig vir hy kwadraat. Mens vergeet makkelijk van die kwadraat as jy hom ingestel het. Omdat jou kop sê vir jou, daar is klaar exponent. So then you just, you just move on and you don't put that exponent there as well. Ok. En jy tik het net in, daai ene onthou die 9 mal 10 tot die maag 9 is een constante wat jy aflees van jou blad af. And then you get to 7,875 times 10 to the power of negative 4 newton. En hoekom is dit aantrekkend? For that you have to go back to the question where it says the one is positive and the other one is negative. Onthou kracht is een vector, so hy het een richting. Jy moet, behal wat hulle gevraag het vir die grootte van die kracht, dan kon jy die richting uitgeloos het, maar hulle het gevraag vir bereken die kracht. Nee, nou, maar hy kon net in die richting stel 5. You don't have to put in the negative there. Nee, onthou julle, jy hoef moest nie, of jy moet nie, jy moet nie die tekens hier instel nie. The plus and the minus is only to determine whether it is an attractive force or a repulsive force. Ok, Amal recht met die huiswerk. Ek bou nie eindelijk die huiswerk met julle dier gegaan, net die maaie is ons. Nummer 6, kom ons doen om saam. 
2 sfere met onderscheidelik 12 picocoulomb en negatief 2 nanocoulomb oefen ek graag op mekaar uit. Die afstand tussen hulle is 15 mm. So those are three different conversions that we have to do. Want die eerste punt is altyd veel formule wat jy neerskryf. Moe nie lei wees, jy skryf om neer. Ok. Then, picocoulomb is times 10 to the power of negative 12. That's that one there. Nanocoulomb is negatief 9. And remember, you have to put the millimeter into meter. So you put that in there, and you square it. Jylle moet nie hier stap neer skryf vir die tyd moos. Don't write down that step, just go straight to the answer. Daar is net saak rekenaar werk. Ek het vir jylle hierdie alles opgelooi. Most important thing is, do you all understand the conversions? En jylle allemaal verstaan waar alles inkom? Makkelijk. Ok. How do we know it is an attractive force? The one is positive and the other one is negative. So om maar die teen oorgestelde ladings is, trek hulle mekaar aan. Happy days. Ok. Welke tijd aantrekken in plaats van aantrekken? Dat is ok. Ok. Okay, um, then I quickly want to go to number seven. So the ones that we have done thus far, they gave you the charges each time and they gave you the distance and you had to calculate the force. Maar nou kan het ook gebeur dat hulle vir jou die kracht gee en jy moet een van die ander goeders oplos. Goed, so hulle sê vir jou die elektrostatiese kracht is in twee identiese puntladings. They are identical. Meaning that they have the same charge. Hoor mooi wat ek sê. Hulle het die selfde lading. Ok? Die afstand tussen hulle is 2 cm en hulle geef jou die kracht bereken die groote van die punt ladings. They don't want you to say whether it is positive or negative. They're just looking for the magnitude of their charges. Ok. Goed. So ons skryf jou ons formule neer. K is makkelijk om in te stel. Kijk gauw wat het hulle hier gedoen. Hulle het gesê omdat hulle identies is, is Q1 gelijk aan Q2. So then I basically just have Q times Q, which becomes Q squared. Julle het amper sikkes gedoen in voorbereiding vir Newtonse gravitasiewette, wat hulle gesê het, sê nou maar die verhouding van twee massa's is 1 tot 2. Onda julle? So dan het jy moos gesê, dit is massa en 2 mol massa. En as jy hulle met mekaar vereenvoudig, dan het jy 2m mol m, wat gelijk is aan 2m kwadraat. You guys remember that? You had one where there was a relationship between the masses. So then just remember, if you have two of the same um, variables that you multiply with one another, it becomes that variable squared. Okay. Goed, en die rest is net instelling oploos. So jylle kan weer eens, ek weet nie hoe vinnig jylle rekening is hier. Wat gaan hier aan? Ek denk daai ene moet boor staan. Ok. And then they just square it and they get to 1,6 times 10 to the power of negative 8. Happy daarmee. Kan jylle onthou met wat ons op die oomlik hier werk? Wat is hier die wetse naam? Coulombse wet. Ok, so jylle skryf af, jy sien nie nou binnenkort oor hierdie nie, maar sê nou maar jylle skryf weer een van die daar een toets oor elektrostatika. Wat sal jy sê, gaan jylle definitief jou vraag? Coulombse wet. Nee? Ok. Hier is nog een soort gelijke ene, maar hierdie keer geel vir jou die kracht en die ladings en hulle vraag vir jou vir die afstand. En dan sê hulle vir jou geel antwoord in millimeter. Ok, ek sal vir julle gauw tyd geel om het af te skryf, maar kyk net mooi vir my. Kyk mooi vir jou omskakeling vir micro, kyk mooi vir jou omskakeling vir pico. Then also note that it is still R squared. We have to solve for R, but it's still R squared. 
another thing that they can do here is they can give you the force in kilonewton. <gasps> okay, what is kilonewton? By example, a thousand, so multiplying to the power of three. They didn't do it yet, but they could have. So just make sure SI unit for force is newton. SI unit for charge is coulomb. La 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 la. Okay. I give you a little time to move after scribe. While you guys are doing that, um, do I PFV is like on NRT, what I feel like you don't need to learn for on Friday or Saturday. For Friday, I don't know. We are going to do that when I hand out your chemistry papers because we're busy busy with physics now, so let's not jump around. We're going to go on and on with physics, and then when you have chemistry papers, you feel ideal, and we'll be able to do some little happy chemistry that we're going to do that formula. Then we'll be back on soon too. Goed, en kijk net mooi uit om gaan omzetten in millimeter. Nee? Oké, okay. jullie hebben groot elf. Nee. Zijn er nog met ons? Hoe schrijf je al die stappen neer? Nobody does all the steps. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, um, I'm not gonna do number nine. That one is similar. Number ten, you guys have done before. Good. Um, ten point two. They allow these two charges to touch one another. And then for all of your what is in evil ordings that you have to remember from grade ten. What happens when we allow two charges to touch one another? Then they distribute evenly. Ne? So then is the loading not the onraking like on. Toy is not the more right. Toy must be divided into two equal onerbies. So it's 2,6 plus 1,09. Well, let's say the total loading of the cells. So that is right. But if I asked you for the charge of e on each sphere, it would have been this. Hmm? If I asked for the two charges after they were separated again. Grad 11, so hoekom maak het die saak laat ek daar in een los in microcoulomb nie? Hoekom maak het die saak nie? Jy het om nergens in een formule gaan instel nie. Ok, so remember, when you are working with those formulas, everything needs to be in its SI unit, or else they don't cancel out correctly. Maar hier is hier formule hier nie. Die enigste eenhede wat hier is, is alles in die selfde eenheid. Nee? So daar is nie een inconsistency met ons eenhede nie, want al twee die ladings is in microcoulomb. So jy is nie bezig om het op te moors nie, solank jy dan net jou antwoord in microcoulomb skryf. Would it have been wrong if you converted it to coulomb? No. So when in doubt, do that. Goed. Stop. 